What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak the Apple TV 4 or 4K on tvOS 11.0 or 11.1. .1. For this tutorial, you're gonna need the iOS app signer, the IPA file, and Xcode from the Mac App Store. These two can be found in the description. You can also use Cydia Impactor, but I was personally having problems with it. So instead, I'm gonna use the iOS app signer. So go ahead and open up Xcode. And if you are new, you need to go to the preferences, head to the accounts tab, and add your Apple ID. Once you have done that, you can create a new Xcode project. Make sure to select tvOS, single view application, select next. And here product name, you could just name it Liber TV, which is the name of the jailbreak. Make sure team is your Apple ID. And we're gonna leave everything default for now. Click next. It's gonna ask you where you want to save that. So I have it saved under a jailbreak folder, create. And if it's the first time you're doing this, you're gonna see this signing certificate doing its thing. Just make sure that once it's finished, it says iPhone developer and then your email address. If you have never paired your devices, you can go to window, devices and simulators and go ahead and pair your device there. I will make sure to leave instructions in the description on how you can pair your device. For now, we're just gonna leave that alone and go into the iOS app signer. You can drag and drop the Liver TV 11 IPA. For a signing certificate, make sure to select your Apple ID. For provisioning profile, make sure to select the one without UI tests. So that would be this one for me. And now you can select start. It's gonna ask you where you want to save it. I'm gonna leave it in the jailbreak folder and I'm gonna add final because otherwise it's going to replace the already existing IPA file. We don't want to do that. So give it a different name and save it. All right, it says done. We can close the iOS app signer. Now head back into Xcode, your devices tab, hit the plus icon, look for your IPA file, the last one we created. So for me, it would be final, hit open, and it's gonna go ahead and install it on your device. Once you see it under installed apps, it's gonna show up on your Apple TV. At this point, go ahead and launch the Liber TV app and click right where it says, click me. Be patient and leave it alone. You might not see a message saying it's working, but you will eventually see this message, which means everything worked and you are now jailbroken. That's pretty much it. As of right now, there's no benefits to jailbreaking for the average user. Of course, if you are more advanced, you can have access to SSH, but for someone like me, this is pretty much all we can do at this time. All right guys, one last thing that I discovered after playing around with this, if you reboot your Apple TV, you will need to re-jailbreak it. So you have the app on your Apple TV, just run it again, wait for that message saying you are done, and then you will be good to go. As you can see here, I tried to SSH into the device and I was refused after I rebooted my device. So I went ahead and did the jailbreak again, and now I can go in there without any issues. The password, in case you're doing this on your own, is Alpine, and you'll get this screen which is telling you it's jailbroken. And from here, you can do other stuff if you are an advanced user. That's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you found this video helpful, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.